Alrighty, alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the National Park. We did a lot, guys. We really did. I mean, it sounded like I was winded, it sounded like I was tired. Yes, I was very tired. Been doing a lot as of late. A lot of positive stuff. Yeah, a lot of positive stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be continuing on right here with, uh, you know, like a little extra sauce from me as yes, your best bud right here, Draven. So, in this episode, before we go straight to the gym, we're going to be going to the National Park. It is currently Tuesday, but you can do this on every Saturday, Sunday. Actually, I lie, I lie. Every Sunday, Thursday, Tuesday, you can actually uh, play this game, and that is the Bug Catching Contest. And, uh, well... I decided to go in the in the daytime because I needed to do some training with some of my Pokemon. One being, you know, good old Hercules and all that stuff. And as you guys can see, yes, he is ready to go. Um, let's see. The Pokemon that I'm thinking of going with is probably going to be Fluffolk because it does have a status effect move. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, today is Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a Bug-type Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes, I would. Uh-oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Cinder, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? No, that is not. Okay. So... There is a bit of an issue, guys. Cinder can't... Like, we can use Cinder, but the problem with him is that it's at level 24. And I, I kind of feel like it's going to make everybody faint. Plus, it's a fire-type Pokemon. So, we're going to go with uh, Fluvolt. We did equip it with the Shell Bell because I'm, I'm pretty sure right here you can't be using any kind of... Uh, any, any items like heal status items except for berries. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And we're going to give it a try. Yes, please. Yes, Fluvolt. Yes. Fine! We'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. Draven's Pokemon were left with the contest helper. Here are the sport balls for the contest. Yes, we received 20 balls. Okay, so the person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of sport balls, you're done. You can keep your last Pokemon. Uh, you can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go and catch the strongest bug type Pokemon you can find. Okay. So, here we are, guys. And, uh, well... One of the biggest things right here in the National Park when it comes to the the bug catching contest is the specific Pokemon that you can find here. Obviously, some Pokemon that you can find are Caterpie, Kakuna, Metapod, Weedle, Sunkern, Pidgey, Hoot Hoot and all that. Headbutting, you can go with an Execute, Hoot Hoot, Ladybug, Pineco, Spinarak. But we're talking about good old fashioned bug type Pokemon. Some of these Pokemon include, let's see, I am looking at this bug catching contest. So in the tall grass, some of the Pokemon you can actually find are Beedrill, Butterfree, Caterpie, Kakuna, Metapod, Paris, Pinsir, Scyther, Venonat, and Weedle. The best way you can go about this is the high point value of the Pokemon, the high level, and if you manage to find one of these Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon is a big plus. The contest winner... The first place, uh, you know, the first place obviously gets a stun, a sunstone. Second place gets everstone. Third place gets citrus berry. And for a consolation prize, you get a shell, a uh, shed shell, which, uh, yeah, it is a big consolation prize. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going straight into, yes, we're going to be going straight into the tall grass because we need to find ourselves a very, very strong Pokemon. Now, if you actually uh, seen my Pokemon Crystal walk through both of them. Um, you probably already seen that we won both of those contests, and as you guys can see, bam, we are hit with a Beedrill. This Pokemon is pretty strong, but I would like to go for, you know, I would like to go for a Pokemon that's a little more tougher, like, you know, Scyther and all that crud. And, well, let's see, let's go straight for a Thunder Wave and throw a ball at it. And there we go. We have caught ourselves a Beedrill. And the good thing about this is that we equipped a, a Fluffolt with a Shell Bell. So that means, you know, we can heal bump anytime we want. So as you guys can see, Beedrill, the Poison Bee Pokemon. Bug and Poison. It can be taken, or it can take down any opponent with its powerful Poison Stingers. It sometimes attacks in swarms. Alright, so we caught ourselves a Beedrill. That is at level 13. 
And remember, you can only catch one Pokemon and you have to make the biggest decision of your life. Do you want this guy or do you want that guy? Obviously, you might encounter a Pokemon like Caterpie who's at level 16 or something. And yeah, that's going to be like... <laughs> it's going to be tough for you. So, what's going to happen is... I'm going to try and find the best Pokemon possible. As you guys can see, there is a level 15 Beedrill. I could just capture that Pokemon and then bam, you know, replace it for what I have right now. So, let's go right ahead and see if we can actually find something better than Beedrill. And, well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves Weedle. I am literally trying to prevent myself from facing any of these uh, Poison-type Pokemon, especially with my Fluff Bolt right here, because you get poisoned, you faint, the contest is over. And here we have a Paris. Well, yeah, we never caught this guy right here, so... Yeah, okay, so never mind. Let's go right ahead. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna fast forward real quick in order to find a very, very powerful Pokemon, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, finding ourselves a Pinsir. This guy is going to be a little tougher than expected because, well, it does things like that. So we're gonna paralyze this guy. Thundershock it. Thundershock it. And... So we better catch this Pokemon real quick before he continues to bind. And as you guys can see, we're throwing a sport ball right here. Pinsir, like Scyther, very rare, very tough to capture. And as you guys can see, bam, we caught ourselves a Pinsir. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right now. Now, the funny thing is that if you capture multiple Pokemon and you choose one of the both, you will still have that Pokemon's, uh, you know, Pokedex registration right there. So don't worry about, you know, losing it right here. So here we have Pinsir, the Stag Beetle Pokemon. With its Pinsir horns, it digs burrows to sleep at night. In the morning, damp soil clings to its body. Okay, alrighty. So, yes, we're going to be swapping out Pinsir right here because it is a little bit better. I will be right back with you guys. I'm going to see if I can find something bigger. Okay, so off screen, I kind of captured a Butterfree by mistake, but it's at level 15. There is just one big issue. Mareep is, uh, <laughs> yeah, homie here is a bit uh, poison, and I am not liking that, that one bit, so I really have to step it up right here, so I'll be... I'm kind of hoping I can find a, another Pokemon right here with, that's much rarer because, you know, I, I did run into a level 18 Caterpie. Even though it does have the leveling and all that crud, it's, uh, yeah. Now, in Generation 3 slash 4, or actually in Generation 4 right here, uh, if your Pokemon is poisoned, it will heal up. It won't faint. It just, you know, it will just be at 1 HP, which is a big disadvantage for you. And, well... Let's see. I'm actually going to run this out and try and see if I can get Fluffle to not faint. So I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> okay, so here we are back against another Pinsir right here, guys. And it took me about three battles to actually get back to level, or it, like to 17 uh, HP right here. And as you can see, we, we definitely need to beat this guy. And wow, that was a critical hit. And wow! So, the Pokemon Gods are with us right here because look at that. Okay. So, it's both paralyzed and, uh, uh oh. Yeah, so we need to capture this Pokemon real quick or else it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything for us. So, there we go. And. Oh, crud. Okay, so we really need to capture this guy. And there it is. We caught ourselves another Pinsir. And from the looks of it. God. Okay, we got a level 15 Butterfree with a Pinsir. I'm gonna go with the the higher higher leveled, the higher point value Pokemon right here because uh, yeah, that's uh you know, it, it doesn't matter what like if it was a shiny Pokemon then yeah I would have I would have been definitely like you know I would have done something with it but yeah anywho uh, let's go ahead and run away from here and see what we can actually find because <laughs> look at that we're finding B drills I kind of want to find a Scyther and. If you, f oh wow, if you find yourself a Scyther right here, especially with a Pinsir, that's usually high point value. So I'm going to try and see if I can find a Scyther right here. And no, this is another Pinsir. So we're going to be, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this 
try and find a scyther before this whole thing ends. So I'll be right with you guys. Okay, so here we are, and we found ourselves a scyther. Not the biggest leveled scyther, but still a scyther nonetheless. And yes, we're gonna paralyze this guy. And put a few flashes on this guy. That way he doesn't try and hurt us and all that stuff. There we go. And this site there is completely blind, so we need to be careful with what we do. As you guys can see, <laughs> my Flood Volt's at level 21 because we had to make a whole bunch of Pokemon faint right here. And, oh wow, we really need to capture this Pokemon right now. And, okay, here we go. Come on, stay in the ball. Don't be selfish. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so we got ourselves a Scyther. I probably should have stuck with the level 15 uh, or level 14 uh, pincer right here, but look at this. We found ourselves a Scyther, the Mantis Pokemon, bug and flying. It slashes through grass and it's sharp size, moving too fast for a human eye to track. Huh, okay. So, yeah, we're going to be swapping it out. And bam. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to retire this whole thing. That way, we can see who wins this match right here. So, come on. We got to win. We have to win. Okay, so we will be judged by the Pokemon you've got. We have chosen the winners. And placing third is Catcher, Book Catcher Ed with a Pincer. Okay, so that one was right there. And number two was Abby with the Venonat. Okay, so let's see with 316 points is what the hell? So bug catcher Josh wins with a Kakuna. Oh My god, so we get ourselves a shell belt or a shell us uh, a shed shell This does not sit well with me. It does not No, we're gonna put this in the in the, in the PC. Oh My god, yeah Did this, this does not sit well with me so what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm going to fast forward to another day, onto a Thursday, and from there, we're going to try and win the bug catching contest again, or we're going to try and win the bug con uh, catching contest, so I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> uh, I got second place, and I'm getting this freaking Everstone. <laughs> Seriously, a Metapod. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I, I, I don't care. Okay. So I do get an Everstone after getting uh, second place and everything, but there's a big but on this. I am going to try and get that first place. So give me a few more seconds, guys, because I'm, I'm, I'm in, well, actually, you know what? God. Yeah, I mean, I can always win this bug, anti bug catching contest at any single time. That is the benefit of uh, changing the days here on the computer, so. <laughs> Well, let's see. I'm in it to win it, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to change the days yet again. Okay, so here's a little bit of an issue, guys. I guess I screwed up my uh, my time. It won't... It actually won't coincide with the with the game right now, so I'm not going to be doing the book, catch, uh, the book catching contest anymore. But what I am going to do is I'm going to explain a little something here that you guys can find very beneficial coming into Goldenrod City. Now, I was going to be doing this uh, seven times in order to get all these TMs, but if you guys remember... If you guys remember, a few days ago, I actually uh, found a... Well, what was it called? Uh... I think it was the fifth floor, fifth or sixth floor. It was uh, the the daily drawing center right there. Now they had three prizes, first, second, and third prize, where you can actually get yourself a rare TM, and if you got the first prize, as many of you guys already know, I tried this and I got myself the TM uh, the TM02, which is Dragon Claw, and this only happens on Sundays. Now on this particular day onto my computer it is a Saturday so on the Saturdays you'll be able to get the TM62 Silverwind Fridays it will be TM42 Facade TM60 will be on Thursdays which is Drain Punch then you got Wednesday at uh, you got Wednesday you get TM57 Charge Beam Tuesday will be TM91 Flash Cannon and on Mondays it will be TM65 Shadow Claws. Now, the second prize would actually be Luxury Ball, Nest Ball, Repeat Ball, Net Ball, Quick Ball, Dust Ball, and Timer Ball in all that particular order. Now, if you get the third prize, obviously, 
it's whatever berry they want. And uh, <laughs> trust me, you want the TM. And let's see. This is the TM room. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's go right here. I think this is the person. Uh, perfect for your Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be going up to the sixth floor right here. So again, this place right here, the daily drawing, Sunday's prices will be a TM2. Okay, so technically it is a Sunday onto my game right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get myself... I want to get myself the TM, the TM60 Drain Punch because our next gym battle will be against normal type gym leader. So I'll be right back with you. Huh. Wow, what do you look at that? So there it is, guys. We're left with $400 and we got finally got the TM60. Okay, so a clear, a clear, explanation, a clear explanation to all of this, guys. If you're in Goldenrod City, all right, and you're trying to get the daily drawing, I would suggest doing it only one time. Just one time, because you're going to be needing that money for everything else in between, such as, you know, probably buying healing items and all that crud, because the next gym is going to be tough. I'm just saying. Now, we haven't visited the bottom floor right here, so we're going to be taking a look right there to see if we can actually find something of, of use. But yes, if you're going to be doing the daily drawing, guys, make sure to have plenty of money, because the daily drawing likes to screw you over. It does not give you the... The chances of you getting, what was it, the very first uh, prize, and we can't go through here, huh? The the num or the first place prize, chances of getting that is slim to none, so you probably need to have, like, a good thousand dollars just waiting for you. I'm just saying, guys, I really am. So, yeah. Anywho, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I know it's been a little, a little, uh, well, it was just a small amount of... Uh, of things. I could have won the uh, the buck catching contest, but it is what it is, guys. Anywho, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on Whitney for our next badge. And hopefully, just hopefully, we come out of there alive. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Whitney. See you guys.